In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use GPT-4 or Canvas to generate a fun and high quality blog post that will bring you organic traffic to your website. The end blog post using GPT-4 with Canvas could look like this where you've got your feature image, you've got a nice formatted blog post that sounds like you and doesn't sound generic AI. You've got some backlinks here. You've got some illustrations, although admittedly, GPT-40 didn't generate that illustration, but I'm going to give you the free AI tool that did that for me. If we keep going down, we've got some nice formatting as well, easy to read. We even have a little GIF, a community GIF, because this is about our online community. And then we even have a lot more links as well there in the end. I really like this blog post. Is it ranking really well? I'm not sure. I just posted it, but I really like the way this in, this encapsulated my tone of voice and the value that I wanted to provide to people, which is the essence of what we want to do when we're writing blog posts as well. I did this by preparing myself a little bit, not just jumping straight into GPT-40 Canvas. We want to get ourselves prepared with a little tone of voice documentation, and don't worry, I'll show you how you can create this in one click and also some negative keywords that we want GPT to avoid. This will make it sound more natural. Now, is sounding more natural going to make you rank higher? Not really. It is going to separate you from your competitors as well if you do this correctly. Once I have my tone of voice document that I'll feed GPT for a canvas, I also have a pretty, I also have a very extensive prompt that's going to set everything up for you with all the fundamental components. Where do you get all this stuff to create all this? Well, that's a great segue for me to tell you who I am and what I do. My name is Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking School Community, where we help and we support and we teach people on learning all things AI-powered search engine optimizations and automations. That is how to maximize AI tools and automations to rank your website number one. I'll leave a link to this free community in the video description below. Once you sign up, I want you to go to the classroom section and go to prompts. In here, you'll see a bunch of really useful prompts, which you're welcome to try out. But the ones that we're talking about today are this one, blog writing prompt for GPT Canvas. That is the main prompt. And then that is the humanizing GPT things that we wanna add on to there to make it sound more natural. So before we even get started with GPT Canvas, let's create your tone of voice documentation. You want to open up a G, uh, you want to open up a Google Doc, an empty Google Doc, and I'm going to leave a link to this custom GPT below. Then that's going to generate your tone of voice for you, so you don't have to do all the work. And the way it works is really easy. You copy whether a LinkedIn post or a blog post or whatever you have that's your tone of voice that you like, even some video transcriptions that you might have, you go to the custom GPT, you paste it, and it's going to do its thing. It's going to understand what it needs to do, and it will give you a detailed overall brand tone analysis or tone of voice analysis. Perfect, so I've got the whole tone of voice guideline here. Yours might look a little bit different. That doesn't matter. It's still analyzing the overall tone of voice. You're gonna to go to your empty Google Doc. You're gonna put a title, tone of voice, and then we're gonna paste all of that stuff that it gave us. I'm gonna make a title out of this. And one last thing that I'd like you to do is go to the school community and these humanizing negative keywords, I want you to copy these all. You can do that by double clicking on it and adding those to your tone of voice documentation. This is going to even make it better as a document and as a guideline for GPT to follow. Finally, all I want you to do is download this document as a TXT file because we're going to give it to GPT-40 Canvas. I know that was a little bit of preparation, but trust me, it's gonna be much worth it for the out final output that we're going to get. Now we're going to go into GPT-40 Canvas. I'm going to start a brand new one. That was the one that I generated before. So I've got a new chat with GPT-40 Canvas. I'm going to firstly get the main blog prompt that's going to that's going to get GPT-40 Canvas writing correctly and understanding the format in which we want the output. We're going to go copy this, go to GPT, paste the prompt, but there's a couple of things that you need to input here. So here it says our task is to collaborate, writing a blog post about, and we're gonna do the same as I did before, why learning about SEO in a community is the best way. 
which I tend to think so. And the target audience targeting small business owners, small and the target audience is small business owners who want to learn how to do their own SEO. If we read the rest of the of the prompt, there's one particular thing that I want you to make sure you understand. Tone of voice, following the specific tone of voice outlined in the attached TXT document. So that downloaded document with the tone of voice is what we need to put in here. So we've got the tone of voice documentation, which is gonna make GPT sound really, really good and natural. And we've got the full prompt as well. We're going to hit enter and now a lot of the magic is going to happen. So you can see that it's even generating a table because that's what we instructed it to do in the prompt. This allows us to vary the content within the blog post. So we're not just looking at boring text, right? Perfect. I do want to add one thing here. Within the left side, you can still continue talking to ChatGPT and you can also search the web directly in that chat. A lot of people don't know this. We're going to use forward slash and we're going to use search and tell it to find us high quality sources where users can learn SEO for free. Why do we want to do this? Well, we want to make sure we think about the user first when we're writing. We want to give them as much value as possible when we can. Now we need to decide, well, where are we going to actually put in this information? I'm going to go here and say, and add, if you don't want to learn SEO, if you want to learn SEO alone, here are the best ways to get started or here are the best resources to get started. Uh, and now I'll misspell that, that's fine. So I've said, if you want to learn SEO first, here are some resources to get you started. And I'm going to just really uh, disgustingly copy this section here. You can't kind of tell it to integrate that really well in there, uh, but I'm going to copy it and paste it here. And then what I'm going to do is select this whole thing and ask GPT. And I've selected the whole things that I've pasted here. And I'm gonna say, rewrite this and format this correctly in a brief manner. Sometimes when you do these things, you lose the rest of your blog post. Don't have a heart attack. What I do need you to do is copy this section that I rewrote it and go back to the previous version. Then we're gonna restore this version and now we're going to place it somewhere here. Cool, now it's looking a little bit better. Um, instead of the case studies, uh, no, that's fine, we'll leave that there. The community key takeaways and then how to get started today. So now we've got a pretty good blog post that I don't mind. Why learning SEO in a community is the best way for small business owners. Let's see if I can add some data from my our premium community. So I'm just gonna copy this stuff here about the premium community and then go back to GPT and ask it to in a natural, uh, I'm gonna ask it in to insert the following information in a natural manner in the end so that their call to action is to join the online community. Cool, perfect, so it's inserted that stuff in there as well. The other thing that I'd like it to do is backlink to my community as well. I'm gonna give it the link and just so everything's nice and done, I'm going to say at the AI ranking community, click on the keyword, ask GPT to please hyperlink this link to the key to this section and just paste the link in there and hopefully it's understood that it's only rewriting that and there you go. Beautiful, now it's backlinking there. Nice. Now, before we copy and paste it, there's a couple of things that I want to do as well. I want to create a feature image. In the left-hand side, when you're talking to ChatGPT for row canvas, you're gonna do forward slash and you're gonna do picture Dali. I'm gonna say, let's create a 18-bit um, style image of a community learning online about SEO. One thing here that I like to add is to make sure that it creates it in a dimensions of 16 by nine, just so that it looks nice in the, uh, in the blog post as well. Otherwise, it'll make it on a square image, which is fine, but then you need to edit it as well. Cool, so it's even created an 8-bit style image. That's not too bad, actually. Learning about <laughs> AO together, you can even select and change a couple of aspects, which a lot of people don't know about. So up here, there's a little kind of, uh, there's a little 
brush icon, I can make this a little bit, uh, actually, no, that's fine. Select all this and just say to remove the wording here. Select it. And now down at the bottom, I can edit the selection here and just going to say remove any wording that will allow us to minimize this thing kind of stuffing up. There's enough SEO words around the place. It's more than okay. There's even an Android one, which is fine. And let's see what it does. It's grabbing the same image and editing it, which is really good. It's almost like stealing Canvas's job. And now that I realize that it's called Canvas, maybe they're really competing with Canvas as well in another way, but anyway. Perfect, and if we look at our new version, all the wording was removed from that section. I'm happy with that, I'm gonna download it. Is that image ready to be uploaded to your website? Not quite yet. I want you to optimize it. Why do we wanna optimize it? We just wanna make sure that it's as light as possible. It is a WebP file, which is great, but we can even optimize that further by using tinypng.com. This is a free tool that's going to compress your image in a really good format without losing pretty much any quality at all. So you see that we've saved ourselves 66% in terms of the weight of that image. See, heavy images make for a slow loading time on a website, and that's a big no-no for SEO. And I download my image, perfect. Now I have a really high quality image. So going back to my GPT, I've got my image, <clears throat> I've got my blog post, I've got some backlinking here as well. I'm pretty happy with it because it's writing in my tone of voice. Before we publish this or we copy this to our website, whether that's WordPress, Wix, or whatever you might have, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to click here the final polish, and let's just look through it and see where it can add a final polish to the writing. And I actually like how it does this. Sometimes it'll make this a little bit shorter. And you can see that it's kind of rewriting it, see where it can improve things. It doesn't change the tone of voice. It just makes things nice and polished as it says, right? And you can see that the formatting is nice now. Uh, it's got those backlinking things. We'll have to fix those manually. Uh, or we might not actually. It's still backlinking, fantastic. It's adding the end. Great, so one couple of things that I wanna do here is just make sure that it removes the numbers of here. So I'm gonna ask GPT, uh, please remove the reference numbers, the end of the paragraphs. It just looks kind of bad. There you go, it removed those, cool. Now I'm nearly ready to go, but I'm going to copy this entire blog post. I'm going to go to open up a brand new document. You can do this directly to your website. I like putting it into a document beforehand as well, just to see what it looks like. Perfect, so I've got all my assets here. They're looking pretty good. Even the tables are here, perfect. Um, now, the one thing I want to do is give you a little tip here to make this even a little bit better. We are going to add a illustration to this. So in a section that you think is appropriate to do so, for example, the benefits of learning in a community, one, two, and three, I'm going to copy this entire thing. I'm going to go to a tool called Napkin AI. I'll leave a link to this in the video descriptions below. They're a great free tool, at least as of the time of this recording. I think soon it's not gonna be free because it's so good. I'm going to create a new napkin and paste all of the things that I saw here. And I'm going to add, click this button. It's going to read everything that we've just pasted it, understand it, and then provide an illustration. Perfect. Now I've got a nice little illustration that I can add in here to it. I like this one here. I'm gonna add some color to it though. I've got a few more choices. This one works great. And now I can save this as well. I can save it as a PNG, SVG, or a PDF. I'm gonna to add to the clipboard, or I can download it. So if I add it to my clipboard, I'm gonna to go to my documentation where I'm doing this whole blog post. And voila, now I've got a nice little illustration to go along with my blog post. So I've got my image, I have my image that has been optimized. I have a nice blog post that sounds like me because we've given it the tone of voice. It has some backlinking as well. Now you are ready to publish your blog post to your website and you've used GPT for a canvas in a much more collaborative manner for it to write your blog post really easily.
I hope you found that useful. Again, all the resources that I mentioned are in the online community, the free online community, which you're welcome to join. If you wanna see other videos like this, just let me know in the comments below. Oh, and if you like this video, give me a little subscribe and a follow, I would appreciate it. Thanks.